You were telling me you, you deal in what? I'm making wooden flags that are rustic and antiqued. Uh -huh. And um, they're going to have all different things. They're going to have cultural flags. They're going to have um, flags with Harley Davidson, sports teams, children's names for their room. But they're all going to be handmade, handcrafted, and antiqued. Um, I burn wood. Uh -huh. So like on the Irish flag, I burn the whole Irish prayer in the back. Um, oh. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. They, they retail. Yeah, I had a, a, a sign like that for my store. I had the name of my store, Burned in Wood. That's how ours was, in Casa. Yeah. Yep. Right. And so I have, um, I'm going to really put time now, into it. Now, is this the, something I you make, created? I made this. Yeah, I made these. That's the, I, I've been buying bits and pieces of stuff. This is for the women. This is for men. And you know, it's kind of a... Um, and how much do you sell something like that for? About 75 80 uh -huh. And the women's I sell for about 50 and, and how do they sell? They sell good. They sell good. The problem is with sizing. Um, mm -hmm. I, I make a few and I bring them out. There's all different mm -hmm. size people. But this is actually my intention with this was having um, an alternative for women that like to ride motorcycles and not want to wear leather. Ooh. It gives you a femininity right. to being in a masculine environment. Right, right. So, um, and it's same with these. It's an option. These are all washable. I hand stitched them all. Uh -huh. So they're all washable. They're all durable. Um, I have an incredible, trouble is it, the, the color's wrong, but I have an incredible, the brightest, I went through Mexico in 1962, and I bought the prettiest blanket I saw in the whole country, and I think a little teeny hole about this big was eaten by some bug, yeah, moth. and then yeah, an moth idiot that was living with took it down to the pool and set it down, there's one place oh, where the, with the, with the, apparently it was not dye proof, the, it colors on just a little bit, but it doesn't detract from the overall. Well, and the whole thing is with a lot of these pieces is a little bit of wear and tear and gives them life, gives them right. history. I mean, you have to look at some of these pieces, these were made 50, 60, 70 years ago. You know, if you look at some of the plaques over there, uh -huh. you, can, you see these plaques like right here, yeah. over there. That yeah, one. you were telling me that this is the version of Guadalupe. Yep, that that's the version that, of Guadalupe. That would have sold for how much? Three twenty-five right? in my store. In your store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But you, you have such. Listen, I had a store a began to to three hundred a month, and twenty-nine wow. years it went to six thousand five hundred oh, yeah. a month. Yeah, I believe it. I believe and I, it. I mean, I, and I had to, I had to do five. I had to do. 20, 25,000 a month just to break just even. And there were days even. that it rained and I didn't do exactly. 200. Exactly, that's why I did this. I went into the, I got my vetting permit. I figured right. I'll do this to liquidate what I have. Yeah. And then move on to my new place and decide oh. if I'm going to open a store or just do an online I have a friend store. that got a vending permit to sell books. Do you have any? Do people I have some books over there. Do they have any interest? Do they get any interest down here? Um, Occasionally. It's a it's a large variety. It's from religion to philosophy to art to crafts to, to histories yeah. of Mexico. So people, it's great coffee table books for people that right. are interested in these products. Um, but the but nice I thing find is, these days they put books out on the corner. You know, they don't want to throw them away, so they put them in the corner. Yeah, I know. And the I nice mean, thing place, is, yeah. the nice thing is, is a lot of this, and it's hard to find. Um, the older pottery is lead free. And it's what? Lead, lead, free. lead free. Oh, really? A lot of the older pottery has no, lead. What? So the current, oh, you mean a lot of the older pottery has lead? It has lead in it, yes. Oh. Now this has no lead, therefore oh. it's utilitarian. Oh. You oh. can eat out of it, you can store How food in it. How old is that? Um, these can go back anywhere from 20 to 50 years. Uh -huh. You know, this one right here, this goes, this right here goes back about 40 years. And how much is that? Um, I, I'd sell it for about 40. Uh -huh. I mean, the value of it, it's about 150. Do you find that certain things, like, you know, when I had a shop, I never could, you know, I put out things that I didn't think would have any appeal, and, and they'd go they immediately? Yeah. I have a lot of people um, with a million questions about it, uh -huh. but they almost, like, can't find use for it, I guess. Right. right. So, we're, what, we're in a, I tell you, these days, people are living in little teeny rooms. They, well, this is what I, I, have, I have. I have boxes of pictures I don't have space to hang to on hang, my wall right. and well, I have a two-bedroom apartment. That's why I like I have apartment. these planters, they're yeah. indoor-outdoor. Oh. You can use them in an apartment uh -huh. on the small balconies. And I just started making furniture, like armoires, um, storage spaces that go great for people that don't have like bathroom closets. Oh. You know, things like that. And they're they're beautiful. You know, they're beautiful. And I do have them. I'm on um, a New Jersey sales in antiques. Um, and what you you're a vendor that you sell there? I vend on there. And what's the name there? It's just under Kristen Mulligan. Okay. That's my name. And 
it's um, but if you go to any of the new I found I found selling on the internet it's very difficult oh it's very ask how much does it weigh how tall is it right, how, right. right. so my goal is eventually to I'm not sure if I'm gonna open a store or be online but to just be doing custom orders um, I mean I, I wanted to I bought two I bought three sewing machines I haven't tried the third one I did these because I hand. wanted to cut things up like you've done there yeah. cut up beautiful like I took one black jacket, but took, it took an amazing amount of time. It I does took take the, time. A do, off a doily. It does. That I bought it out of a hotel for 25 cents. And, and you know glued the, it on a black jacket. By the time I glued it on, took it off, yeah. glued it on, it's, it's it difficult. had four or five and hours of work. And the work, I was paying the guy $10 an hour. Exactly. See, I do it I myself. Mean, it was and the measurements are tough. Getting them equal are tough. Oh. But what I did with these, this fabric is actually What Mexican. size is that men's jacket? This, these fabrics are Mexican blankets. Yeah, I know that. What size is the men's jacket? I have two. Uh-huh. This one, yeah. I believe, is a 2X. Yeah, it's a 2X, but it runs big. And then I have this one that's uh -huh. an extra large. And how much are they both the same price? Or? Yep. Yep. I mean, if somebody bought two, obviously, you give them a deal. You know? Well, I would think that's a more popular. You well, know, not a, with I'm... this weather coming, but during okay. the summer, I sold a couple of these uh, in June down here, uh -huh. the sleeveless ones. Uh -huh. So and now, how much are they again? Um, these will go for about 80. Okay, let me, let me see.